Hello everyone. Today I'm reviewing a book titled A Mermaid's Tale by Amanda Adams, A Personal Search for Love and Lore. This book I have read many, many years ago. I believe I read this almost 12 years ago or 10 years ago. I think I read it in 2010 or 11. Uh, the book that I had at the time was hardcover and I no longer have it so I had to repurchase it and this is another edition of it which is paperback. However, it is very high quality and I think the cover is almost better even than the first cover. Uh, basically this book is um, somewhat personal but it involves uh, using a lot of myths and tales from around the world about uh, mermaids and it also incorporates goddesses that are associated with the sea such as Yamaya, uh, the Russian Rusalkis, Sedna and the Selkis and the mermaid, uh, the bathtub mermaid known as Melusina and these goddesses and uh, mermaids from tales are incorporated into specific chapters and each chapter by Amanda is apply to herself in a personal manner in through her journey of life up to 27 28 years of life because she wrote this book in her 20s and she at the very end is getting married and she reflects in a way upon the mermaid uh, as a part of her as her because she believes she is one uh, I don't mean to say like she believes that she changes and it's she's uh, a shapeshifter. It's in a it's on a spiritual level and a different type of a level. However, she does make this a bit um, uh, complicated because she has a, a chapter dedicated to the selkie, and she says that she had a friend who constantly swam with the seals and uh, didn't even know what a selkie was and then at the very end of the chapter she says that the sel uh, the lady's mother was found on a beach without any clothes by her father and then her mother was gone from her life so um, there is some ambiguity in a lot of the chapters about what is real and what is not. So the book is very magical in that way. And we could see here Tori Amos saying this book is a magical talisman. Uh, Tori Amos is quoted in the book with her uh, song Silent All These Years. Um, so I'm going to try to kind of give you tidbits and the gist of what the book is about because the book is mostly written very poetically and it's personal and there's a lot of descriptions of her interactions with men and how that applies to the mermaid and so um, it's kind of um, it's very personal and poetic so a lot of the parts um, you would have to read to see her process of life and her experiences emotional experiences but what I found most interesting that I would like to tell you which is the overall book is uh, touches a bit on feminism and on the great goddess um, she also interestingly points out that the mermaid siren the siren call is not aimed at men which i found to be really fascinating is that she said that she felt that the mermaid spoke to the women and i thought this was so beautiful so poignant then saying always she's the seductress and she's only created for men um no and she makes this um distinction between that that they're associated also with intelligence so when Odysseus was on his ship in the Odysseus Homer's Odyssey um, he was actually terrified of the wisdom they hold and so that was very very different and a very different take upon looking at this 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 idea of this woman from the sea also, she also um, goes as in phases in saying she's a representation of freedom, but at the same time not because of Yamaya. And Yamaya, Ili Yamanya, is an African Arisha who is associated with children and motherhood. So she uses every chapter to have you progress through her progress, her journey of life, to show you how she grows into this woman who um, incorporates the land and the sea into her personality because she starts off as a kind of an escapist 
and a dreamer who is constantly obsessing over uh, mermaids and the sea, uh, she, she uh, journeys you through her book to show you how she uh, um, steps out of that. I'm not saying she's obsessed, but she uh, incorporates that aspect of her wild free soul that is connected to the ocean she incorporates it to this practical standing on land uh, aspect of her life which she connects to the man she chooses to marry at the end of the book um, and she associates the land with him and so the book touches on all aspects of of a someone's life experience so it could be betrayal uh, her being uh, left by one of her um, lovers or boyfriends when she was about 16 or 15 uh, and he was a little bit older and so she 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 experiences everything that uh, mermaids in stories would experience or fairy tales uh, and uh, so she she leads you through these chapters by applying it to her personal life applying all of these tales and goddesses um, which is really really beautiful it's very poetically written um, has a stream of conscience and style and I will show you some of the pictures in it This is a very uh, famous picture by Waterhouse. Um, she also has a chapter related to the mermaid as a seductress, and she applies that to seeing a woman who was sunbathing, um, I believe naked on the beach with shark teeth necklace and men um, running up to her and watching her and her being unapologetic and very confident and so she um, takes everyone from her life and herself and applies them to certain um, mermaid goddesses or mermaids from tales, certain tales like Melusina an example. There's more. show you the one for the bathtub mermaid uh, which I found absolutely one of the most gorgeous mermaid paintings and here it is it's so beautiful really really beautiful we have Queen Elizabeth right there and this is by Arthur Rackham it's uh, just so gorgeous because it has that um, beautiful whimsical gentle type of artwork that I love when it comes to art beautiful beautiful and this is also one of my very very favorites of all time by Duloc just the cover the back I highly recommend um, you read this book because the book is nothing like uh, some mermaid books out there. This book is a personal touch and this book dives extremely deep into um, this idea of this woman from the sea. And we also see here she is um, an anthropologist. So she has a master's degree in anthropology and in the book she talks about how she was in certain excavations and so she is very interested in the very, very old world and myths and legends. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care, everyone.